Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Well, it's spring and the hummingbirds uh, have been arriving now for a couple of weeks and boy, the questions start rolling in is where are my hummingbirds? Or I had a hummingbird for a few days, but he disappeared. Where is my humming? Why aren't they staying? Why aren't they? Last year I had a bunch, this year I don't have any, et cetera, et cetera. And I thought I'd address that today because there are some, uh, some good reasons. I'm going to go through uh, the things that you probably have done, but if you haven't, you might want to add one of these to help uh, attract your, make your yard more attractive for hummingbirds, uh, and then kind of go into the explanation as to why they may have left, uh, and don't give up because they will likely be back uh, toward the end of summer and fall migration, so don't give up too soon. So first off, you've probably, uh, you know, have some flowers out there for you, the, uh, the you know, native landscaping we always talk about, and I always tell you, you know, add uh, in the spring, you can add hanging baskets and you can have, you know, red flowers. You know, why do hummingbirds like red? Because bees tend not to nectar on red and orange flowers and hummingbirds favor those because they know there are probably going to be food there. So you've, you've done the right things. You've, you've added lots of red color, uh, tubular flowers, a coral honeysuckle is a great magnet to them. Um, and they, you, you, you're trying and, and it's so frustrating when it doesn't work. You add your, your favorite hummingbird feeder. Uh, you've even put nesting material out for them to, to attract them and keep them there. And yet the, the, you know, they show up for a few days and then they leave. Why is that? Well, I'm going to tell you, and this may sound bad, but blame the females, folks. Uh, they, this male, well, they, the males, this is a female in this picture, but the males show up, and what they want to do is want to establish a territory on a dependable food source. So your hummingbird feeder or your 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 plantings, your flower beds, or your hanging baskets, uh, and hopes that this female sees that as a, a good center uh, for a territory that they'll, they'll come to feed on that and he'll chase her away and flirt with her and that kind of thing. Uh, and then she will uh, go build a nest somewhere close by um, so that, uh, you know, she can raise her young there and she knows there's dependable food there for when the baby's fledged, et cetera. Well, what typically happens is the females decide that the, you're, you're, yard or for whatever reason uh, and it is not good for nesting and so that male can only stick around for so long before he has to make the decision to move on try to find another uh, potential territory to set up to try to attract the females so in for the most part uh, the decision whether you uh, or whether you have hummingbirds all summer is up to the females if they if you've got uh, a favorable habitat. They love creeks and streams and nest along. Uh, they they will, if they decide to stay, the male will stay and he will try to attract more females. Remember, a male ruby-throated hummingbird can have a harem up to nine females. And of course, if he has those females, he's going to stay there. So I, the, the females do decide a whole lot. Now, the male, we talk about the male doesn't do any work. She she builds a nest, lays the eggs, raises the young, et cetera. And then, so what we tell you is not to give up totally. If the, if she's not chosen your yard to nest in, and if you get tired of changing and keeping your hummingbird nectar fresh, if you're not seeing any hummingbirds, oh, late May, early June, uh, in the day, they, then you're probably not getting having their nest anywhere close by. And what I would rather you do is take your hummingbird down, feeder down, clean it up really well, keep your flowers obviously out, but hang your hummingbird feeder out empty because when those birds do come, or if one happens by, if you haven't changed your nectar and it's bad, it's stale in there, that, that it, it can harm the hummingbirds. But if it's empty, those hummingbirds will just stick their bill to it and, and, and dip their tongue in there, and they'll just think, oh, this flower has no nectar, and it's safer for them. But remember, they'll be back, 
And it usually, it, and for our area here in Kansas City, it's usually the last week or so of April, uh, July, sorry, the last week or so of July, uh, the first week of August, the babies start to show up. They fledge uh, and territories start to break down. So all the month of August, especially, is a great month for hummingbirds. So what I recommend doing is mark your calendar, put a sticker or something on your calendar that says, uh, put the hummingbird feeder back out the last week of July. Mix up some nectar. Don't put a lot of it in there yet because the temperatures will be very hot and it'll spoil within a couple of days. So keep it fresh. And another great piece of advice that time of year, because it usually is so slow it, uh, it, and hot, you want to provide water. And they love misters. Hummingbirds love flying through that mist of water. And when it's really, really dry, that can be a huge magnet to attracting hummingbirds and other birds to your yard that time of year. So make sure that you put your your feeders back out if you if you've lost them now keep trying i mean we're still in in early may so keep you keep doing all the things you need to do the native the, the plants the your favorite hummingbird feeder keeping it fresh uh and, and if you've got water out this time you're even better so uh do all that now but remember if they they're not there the last of May up into the first couple of weeks of June, they probably are not going to use your yard all summer long. So it's safe to take it down uh, and maybe hang it out empty. As we say, like we talk about vacations, doing the same thing. When you leave for vacation for a week or so in the summer, take the hummingbird feeder down and put it out empty. They'll come back. They'll keep coming back to that feeder. And all of a sudden it's got uh, nectar in it and they're, they'll be very happy. But remember, August is the best month for hummingbirds and then into September, well into September. So don't give up totally this year on hummingbirds. Just know that if you don't, if you're, if you're losing them now, it, it, it really is a natural thing. And populations very, you know, fluctuate from year to year. So that's where your hummingbirds may have gone to if you've lost them. Uh, but keep trying and uh, do, you know, do right by them. Keep it fresh. Give them water. Give them native plants and they'll be happy. Till next time. Let's talk birds.